Hey guys, welcome back to the content that you're about to watch. And uh, you know what you know what this is, right? This is the ace. I put it right into this little hole here and make this disappear. Because today we are going I'm going through some of you know more of the am I ace in a hole stuff. I'm not gonna put that on a subreddit because that's good that's going to ruin my guess. So if you go, if you don't know if you don't know what the R slash M I do is in the hole is basically have all the situations that they have and trying to tell us a little story about it and some stuff. And then we'll have to determine if if that person if the OP is the ace in the hole or not. So I'm heading back to Twitter right now and I am very, very excited. So I'm going to read now the first one and I don't want to spoil things because because I don't want to spoil things right here. So that... Okay, good. All right, here we go. Okay. All right, here we go. First one. This is the first of the five. Am I the ace in the hole for refusing to drive my girlfriend around anymore? Okay, let's see. My girlfriend and I have been together for eight months. In that time, I was in an accident, and my insurance broke off my car, and I got I only got $2,400 from it. It's not enough to buy a working car. And I've been saving up to buy a better one, although it will take a few months. I asked my girlfriend to borrow hers, and she agreed if I drive her to work every day and then pick her up since she needs to go to work every day too. I, and I had to be DD during our date nights and even girls night, which is about every two weeks. So for the last month, I have to get up at six in, in the morning because girlfriend's work is at seven and drive her there and drive home and get ready for work at nine. Then I had to pick her up again at four using my lunch break and then drop her home to get to work again and come home at five thirty. It's so much work, not to mention every date night I drive, so I never get to relax. And when she hangs out with her friends, I have to drive her there usually at six and pick her up again at nine or ten. Oh my goodness, that's a that's too much. Okay, but it's supposed to take an one an hour forty five to get to my work, so it isn't an option. But her work. It's much closer. It would only take four or five minutes to get to work by bus. I've asked her to take the bus so I can use the car for a few months. Well, I'll save up and I'll pay for insurance and gas, but she refuses, saying it's her car. And, and if I'm not happy with our setup, I can take the bus. She's so selfish and not willing to compromise. I try to get her to agree to take the bus two, three days a week, but she won't and just tells me if I don't like it to take Ubers. And Uber to my work and back from my work costs 110 and I only make around 200. It's not worth it for me to even go to work. I'm pissed and refuse to give her the keys, saying she can't take the bus that day. And she grabbed my wallet and used my seats to get her some Uber without a pushing. She's screaming to give her back the keys, but I'm hitting it and we're and we are at a standstill. I mean I mean, he was an accident, and he has that little car thing for a long time. He drove himself a lot in the car for so long, and he hasn't been going ever since. Okay, driving's not really working out there. Driving a car, and then and then he has no choice to use a car, but taking a lot of schedule in here and refuse. It's gonna, it, it'll take a lot of work I mean, to go around left and right and just, and, I mean, there's a lot of options, buses, Ubers, there are a lot of options other than just having a car, you know, I mean, driving a car is one thing, but if that doesn't work out, you gotta drive everywhere else. Is he an ace in a hole for using to try my girlfriend around anymore? I'm gonna go with... Hmm, this is hard. This is hard. I'm gonna go with not the ace in the hole. Okay, I'll go with not the ace in the hole. I mean, cause she she could have gone she could have gone anywhere. Cause 
he's going to borrow her car for the entire thing. And the way that she, this is difficult. It's difficult. Wow, this is very, this is very difficult for mom. So I'm gonna say not the so Let's see what the Twitter has to say, and then let's see what the other people have to say from the Reddit. Let's see what they dub. Okay, your point that being that because you don't have a car, she should take the bus and sit and drive her own car. Let's pretend you didn't just out yourself as a doesn't dumb freak. Okay. All right, okay. So his car got a wreck and he's trying to make that his girlfriend's problem and he stole her keys. We are a standstill. My dude, if she calls the cops on you, she'll drive it and you will be at a standstill. Okay, so, all right. If they bought it out, okay. It's definitely more of the Asian hole, but having to drive her to girls' night? What did she do before this? I don't know. I don't think she's totally... Blameless. Okay. Oh, really good one here. I was leaning towards everybody sucks here. Eighty percent of the OP, twenty percent. But Reddit is going hard. Okay. Because the other character is possession and not pulling my master. Okay. All right. All right. So I was wrong. So he is. Oh, well, because he has the driver guard. He stole her keys and then and there because. She's, I mean, he borrowed her car and she's not taking it anywhere. And I think he had to be responsible for driving back and forth. Okay. Like I said, your day is all. She's the selfish one. You're using her car and asking her to take the bus. Get a car with a monthly payment plan to rely on her to solve it. I mean, buy a lease, okay, buy a leased car, a leased used or new car. I mean, that's a, that's a good idea. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, the majority say ace. So the ace and ace. Yep, the majority says that ace in the hole. Okay. Y'all already reached a compromise. You drive her for things she needs to cover the most. And then you get full use of the car. And now you don't like it and want all the compromise to come from her end? Like, yes, you're the ace in the hole. And you also stole her car. I mean, borrowing a car is also like stealing the car. All right, I think the the majority of the Reddit has been called this post. Yeah, but let me see what the other people say. Opie keeps saying the car. It's her car, hers. Your days in home, take a bus. Yeah, I mean, I better rec it's best for you to take the bus because buses are taking a long, time. long, long, long time. Oh, look at this. Okay, your days in all. There's all. This is all there is to it. If you're not happy with the conditions, then get the bus. If it's no, you are. I know I hate it. Anyone else has it. This is abusive. I hope she kicks you out. Okay. All right. We got a first in the hole. Uh, last. You're the ace in the hole. What did I just read? You stole your girlfriend's car. You committed a felony. Wake up before you destroy your life. Apologize profusely to your girlfriend and give her back her keys right now and never ever do this again. Oh, yeah. By the way, your idea that she should take the bus while you drive her car is also laughably selfish and idiotic. The only thing more stupid was stealing a car. You have done yourself on doubling down on stupid idea after stupid idea. All right. Okay. Okay. I think I've seen enough. I've seen enough. I've seen enough. So, yep. Everyone's calling. Yep. The majority of these, but yep, the majority of that is. This OP is an ace in the hole. All right. Good, 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 good job, good job. Good job. Okay. Um, let's see. I really want to get to this next two. Am I the ace in the hole for taking the server out of my way? Okay. Let me check. I, 25 people, and my husband, very male, and I got married last Friday. We planned our dream wedding down to our dream catering company. The wedding was beautiful after the pictures would be headed to our cocktail hour. And that's when I saw her. My guests were all told to wear dark colors. My husband and I stood out. I also asked my guests to wear minimal makeup. I had assumed that applied to the staff too. The server, 19-ish, had on clearly too much eyeliner. She also had diamond studs in her ears and a flashy ring and a one 
of those ugly nose studs. The staff's uniform was a black long sleeve shirt button on her, her butt on her, but it was a low cut and her pants were far too tight. It was super distracting. She was walking around, serving drinks, and talking to my BS. I asked another member of the staff to speak to the boss. When her boss came out, I pointed out the server and asked that she be dealt with dealt with because she was super distracting. Their boss apologized and called the server back into the kitchen. Not even an hour later, the server was back out serving food for dinner. I called the boss over again and asked if the server could work in the back or go home. Her boss said they were short staff tonight, so she would see what I, what can be done. Okay. After a couple of hours of not seeing her, I saw the server again behind the bar. I called the boss out one last time and told her if the server didn't leave, I'll be calling the cops. The boss finally relented and told the girl to go home. My husband and mother-in-law said I was acting crazy and that I probably got a poor college kid fired over nothing. My mother and maid of honor said it was my wedding, so I can do as please. It's my wedding and I don't want some I don't want someone over shin shinning me as the server should know that she's at work and not dressed so much. I feel so bad because she was pretty young. Am I the ace in the hole? Okay. This is very obvious. I think you're you're the ace in the hole because, I mean, if the server was a very young woman, she's uh, she's trying to do her job. Don't assault her. Don't anything to downgrade her for any reason because she's doing her job. She's doing what she's doing, do and now you're just shunning this person. I mean, she's trying to work hard the best or something like that. I I, I don't know. Yeah, I think she, I think it's always a hole, or maybe I don't know. Unless someone's rude, I might be. Yeah, I don't know. All right, let's see what the people has to say. Not the ace, no. She's paying for the event. Ask for the staff member to be removed, and the host didn't comply. Hope she didn't tip them. Oh, my assuming. Oh, yeah. Is she rude? Let me go back and read that. Let me go back and read this. Let me know that, and then. What is anything her attitude or something? I don't know. I don't I don't know if she has an attitude. That's what it make I mean means to her wedding. She has to wear the minimal makeup. She wearing too much. That would be against her rules. It's her day. So let me see. You're the ace in the hole. Wedding a uh, wearing a wedding dress and being the bride is that to make you stand out at your own wedding? You're literally one of the two people everyone came to see and pay attention to. It's so petty and sad. <laughs> That's... Holy in holy forking entitlement, Batman. From start to finish, Opie sounds insecure and petty, including having extreme makeup restriction for guests. I bet money that the shirt isn't low cut. The server probably just has a large chest. She didn't have time and time. Opie was calling the police. Over some makeup and facial piercings? There's so much wrong with her and I don't even know where to start. Also, this Redditor says their co-worker, oh, and so etc. All right, let me, let's check the Reddit, okay? Let's check the people on Reddit and what they, what they dubbed this one as. Yep, dubbed as Ace in the Hole. Okay, yep, you're the Ace in the Hole, but don't worry. I'm sure the carry team will get it right at your next wedding. Okay, oh good. You're the ace and all. Too bad you didn't get to enjoy your wedding reception because you couldn't stop obsessing over a college age server. Exactly. Okay. The things that you objected to in the server could have been fixed. She could have removed her jewelry. The boss could have given her a t-shirt that covered her better. But you didn't want to fix. You chose to complain about her and not offending items. This was entirely your choice not to enjoy yourself. It's your wedding, but it doesn't mean to be rude at other guests and servers because they're catering here. They're catering your food. Oh, yeah, this bride is going to be a story they all tell for the rest of the time. Remember when that bride cared more about Cindy than her own new husband? You're the ace in the hole. I still roast brides from my serving days, and they never behave as well. Yeah, that was really good. Makes sense. Makes sense. Who spent so much energy on their wedding day because the server was wearing 
too much eyeliner and earrings. You're the ace in the hole. You need therapy. This is not normal. I don't think it's normal at all. Okay. All right, last one, last one, last one. Okay. I can't imagine how insecure you must be that you felt a woman in the server's uniform was overshining you at your own wedding. Lol, you're the ace in the hole. So, yep, yeah, everyone is everyone has the majority saying you're the ace in the hole. That explains a lot now. Good. Okay. Next one. We have three, we have three more to go. Okay, this is okay, this is interesting here. Interesting. Okay, this one. Am I the ace in the hole for telling my fiance that he embarrassed me when he started singing the happy birthday song to his five-year-old son at the restaurant? Okay. I, female 30, have been with my fiance, Ned, male 36, for a year and a half. He has a five-year-old son with his ex-girlfriend. They don't have a custody arrangement, but he has him most of the week because the mom is currently sick. His son is lovely, but I noticed that Ned takes him everywhere he goes, including places that aren't child-friendly, and we have an issue with that now, but we're working on it. His son's fifth birthday was days ago. Ned took us out to a restaurant to celebrate. The place was nice and looked a bit unfitting for the occasion because it was somewhat expensive place. Anyways, we ordered food, then they got the birthday key, which was a surprise to me because I thought we were going to celebrate at home. So we could be free to sing and play however we want. I still had no issue with that till Ned started singing happy birthday songs to his son. I was stunned. I was dropping my plate. He was singing at the top of his lungs, not even looking around or paying attention to how many people staring at us. Him. I felt so embarrassed. I kept whispering for him to stop, but he ignored me. Of course, my future stepson was hyped and a little too active, which isn't good when we were at the home place. I expected the staff, the manager, and I went to get involved and saw him and no one did. In fact, some woman came up to us and offered that she help him to take a beer report. I wasn't in it at all. I froze in my seat, looking stunned and a little angry. He looked at me later, asking what was wrong. I didn't say anything except, thanks for finally noticing. He didn't understand why I meant and I didn't say Till we were in a car. I flat out told him that he embarrassed me the second he started seeing the restaurant. The shock saying he didn't get why I would be embarrassed by him, celebrating his son's birthday and cheering him up. I told him we could have done this at home when we'd be more comfortable and free. He took it as in I was ashamed of him, but his son, him and his son, but I denied it and said it was just about awkward and embarrassing too. Maybe because I've never been in this situation, and also judging from the restaurant we were at. He said that his son's mom is sick and he's trying to do all he can to cheer him up. And not all families do that. And no one had an issue with that except me then when I tried to explain. He got mad and said no longer felt like talking. We haven't spoken since then. It appears he's still salty about me saying what I said and insinuating me that I see him and his son as an embarrassment. And my days in the hole, I think he's being too harsh with the whole ignoring me thing instead of talking it out. Oh gosh. Um, I mean, he can celebrate celebrate birthday even if it was days ago. And no one mentioned me happy birthday. Well, people haven't mentioned me happy birthday, but some people didn't realize it and they can just scream happy birthday. I mean, this is all good and all. But is this opening in a hole? Yes. I think so. I think so. But we'll see what everybody else says. Yeah. Okay, someone who disagreed. Not that it's no really weird out by the people making this about her hating kids. No, they can chop everywhere, including not child friendly places. It's not normal. They some with a social anxiety and not warning them that you're not going to the transition, that is not okay. I don't know about that, Okan. But the other person agrees it. So a five year old with divorced parents, a sick mother, has a loving father that is doting and trying to make his early childhood as good as possible. Yeah, you're the ace in the hole. Oh yeah, the majority of people said you're oh wow, okay. <laughs> wow, the majority said Yep, the majority said they're the ace in the hole. Okay. All right, you're the ace in the hole and red flags, red flags. He should run far from you too. 
his kid comes first. You have kids, and his son is more important than you because, I mean, he's five years old, okay? Start a little early, becoming a little fun adult, but he's five. You're the age to know that nobody, that nobody from the restaurant said anything. She'll tell you that this wasn't as inappropriate as you seem to think it was. Honestly, you should reconsider this engagement since you don't seem to be a good match. I concur. I concur. Okay, let him celebrate. Let him celebrate his fifth birthday, even though it was days ago. I mean, you have your you have your boyfriend right there celebrating the birthday with his son. Okay, I knew she was gonna be the ace in the hall when she said she noticed he takes him everywhere he goes, which is literally what you do when you have children. Otherwise, it's called neglect. She doesn't like this little boy. She tolerates him, and she's been able to hide it up until now. Hopefully. Okay. You're the ace in the hole. If you do not wish to date someone who sings happy birthday to their five-year-old son in fancy restaurant, then don't. In a few years, son will be going, oh, dad, when dad does this kind of thing. And it'll be so much fun for someone else, not you. All right, all right. Your days in the I think this is a creative writing exercise. You were stunned. You almost dropped your plate in a restaurant. You sat there looking shocked and angry. Nobody says they look shocked and angry. They describe themselves as being shocked and angry. Your days in the hole, regardless. So yeah, I think it's clear to say, I mean, it's clear to say they dub this person days in the hole. Wow, we have three ace in the hole in a row. Yep, yep, they did. They did. We have, we, have, we have three ace in the holes in a row. Can we find another ace in the hole somewhere here? Because I'm like, oh, I'm way too invested in it and I have no idea what. Am I the ace in the hole for sending an appointment home to change? Hmm, we'll see here. For the record, I'm a female. I am a 23 year old senior female, senior software engineer. Part of my job oversees a group of eight other programmers. I do not enforce a dress code. I'm fine with the other programmers wearing t-shirts and tank tops as long as they're not outrageous in nature. But the one thing that I will never tolerate is visible underwear. That's like, is visible underwear is like basically anything see-through and we could probably see all the goodies that you're never ever gonna see. All right, recently I hired a new employee. She is the only other female on board of the nine, including myself. She is extremely intelligent and ex excellent pro problem solvers, but I had to reprimand her three times in two weeks she's been with us about my no visible underwear rule. She refuses to wear a racer brack bra whenever she wears a tank top. It's distracting because my desk happens to be directly behind hers, meaning I had to look directly at her visible bra, drops all day while knocking. Uh, while working, yeah. This morning was the last straw when she arrived wearing a turtleneck tank dress, having an outfit similar to hers, and I thought was very professional. What was a professional about, however, was that her bra straps were hanging out and about to fall down. I called her into a vacant office room, and I told her that I was sitting at home until she concealed her straps. I tried making it clear, but coming to work with visible underwear was unacceptable. She left and came back an hour later. She was at her desk crying. I apologized and said I didn't mean to upset her, as well as how she will make a great contribution to our program. But she still seemed upset. I still stuck by my rule. But was I? But but was I an ace in the hole by raising my voice at her and sending her home to make the work environment distraction free? I mean, it's a. I mean, it's a going to this job have basically going to me. You can wear anything you want. You can wear a shirt, you can wear tank tops. What's even better, they shouldn't wear something well warm. But I think polar thing, polar sh polo shirt is a very, I think it's a better, better thing to wear. But showing an invisible underwear, that, I mean, that seems a little distracting from because if I see someone wearing that, that would distract me a lot. That's not gonna, 
that's going to disrupt my work, maybe. Let me see how to say, but I'm gonna go with, I mean, I mean, you can wear anything. You can wear something casual, but never an invisible underwear because I don't think that's a, I don't think it's appropriate. Underwear or a strapless bra, erase your back bra, or visible bra. That's, if it's like a see-through bra, mm, that, that will definitely distract it for me personally, but. I mean, you did the right thing, though. You did the right thing. But I'm not sure he's in all, but I say no. No, you don't. I mean, we're in something anywhere you want, but see through things, that's a little close to call. Too close to call, maybe. I don't know, but let's see what the comments have to say. Bra straps? What are you, middle school principal? <laughs> wow. Okay. I don't have to look through the visible bra straps on the wall. Have you tried looking at the work you're supposed to be doing? I think that's ma'am. But for a bra strap, I could do my work. Ma'am? No. I don't see the issue with visible bra straps. It's not she had a hang out. But what if what if there's a wardrobe? But I think what what if there's a wardrobe malfunction? Hmm, that uh yeah. Definitely distracting. I have to look away. Let me see here. Just stare at the employees back so hard. Look at your work and you won't see anything. Often a pizza for those who are okay. Visible underwear, please. The pains she must have been taking the right and rewrite this, but still wasn't able to convince me she's in the right. You're the ace known. Okay. It's a woman policing won't be in distractions is the problem. Have professional attire. Is a separate issue. Hmm, different, different issue. Tell sounds reasonable. Your day is known. There's probably something freaked up going on. There is. Okay, let's see what the red ass people say. Did they remove it? I, I think they removed it. But let's see what the Reddit people have to say. What they thought that. I think they might have deleted it or something. Oh, right. This is removed. Damn, sounds like a high school all over again. It's just bra straps, bro. Relax. Acting like her booty cheeks hang out. You're the ace in the hole. Okay, so I would have unsnapped it and pulled it out from under the shirt right cap right in that vacant office. I have no shame and no desire to make an extra trip home unless you're paying for my time and gas. Refuses to wear a razor back is so insulting here. Bras are expensive and she doesn't need to spend on one, she doesn't even want for a whiny manager. Where's the best aggravate my back pain? You're the ace in the hole, OB. Okay, yeah. Okay. I would have removed in front of the OP and ask it was acceptable now. <laughs> you're the ace in the hole. Okay. Imagine, imagine if you're imagine if you're a woman, right? And just remove bra entirely. Would that be destructible for you? Would this be destructive for you? There's like there's like cleavage and you can see all the things there. Chest is like <laughs> widely available there. Okay. I thought visible bra straps lost their stigma years ago. Well, if not, screw it. I'm not going back to high school. So ridiculous to act like they're shocking and offensive. Your days. Oh, okay, okay. That's good. Oh, this one is a, uh, okay. All right, let's see. As a much older female software engineer, your days now. I know you're you're going to be easy now. And after I read the first three sentences, and boy, did you deliver. One, a 23-year-old female. Two, software engineer who is in charge of managing other people, who is three in engineer. There is a reason 23-year-olds are not usually in charge of other people. That's because they're not mature or experienced enough to know how to handle that responsibility. I'm going to guess you're a fairly good engineer, but you severely lack good social skills. You have to let your small bit of power to go to your head. Enforce a dress code. <laughs> the company says a dress code, not you. It's the company will have its dress code, not you. If she's in the violation of a corporate dress code, then you direct the issue to HR. 
whose job it is to handle any workplace entire problems. And your whole post reeks of a power trip. This was a huge mess up on your part. You have now given her ample ammunition to complain about you to human resources. And frankly, I hope she does. The no visible underwear is clearly aimed at women and targeting her. You complain that you had to look at her all bra straps all day while working. No, you don't. Keep your eyes on your own screen, which is what software engineers do anyway. I mean, we just keep our eyes on the screen. Mind your own business. You sound like a creep. There's no reason for you to be looking at her while you're working at your desk. This would have been bad if it had been written by a male engineer. A little bit worse. So much worse when it's a woman targeting and not a woman. For the sake of your team and all your I hope you are swiftly removed of your authority of the time being until you do some growing. <laughs> the Mr. the gender last sentence. I want to make it with you. Holy hell, and you're an ace in the hall in the creek. What an anti feminist attitude. This is a you problem. Quit looking at her and you're not cutting out, you're not a cut, you're not cut out for being in charge of other people. Yeah. Yeah, I think everybody knows this OP is ace in the hole. Okay, I understand that. And uh, that that makes me feel like because a woman get dress coded with another woman and seeing her dress. I mean, come on, as a software engineer, keep your eyes on the screen. Don't look at her. Don't look at the screen. Because I don't think a female, if it's, if it's a female harassing a female, that's a different problem. That's a different thing. But hey, I think I think I think what we I think we cover what it is. Yep. This yep, that person here for the Send employee home change, ace in the hole. Yep. That's four ace in the holes in a row. Can we make it into five? Let's see, let's see, let's see. This one's going to be short because we're going to have to run out of time. Okay. Am I the ace in the hole for telling my coworker I'll cover up my shoulders when he starts wearing shoes? What was the shoes thing? Okay, let's see. My workplace doesn't have a dress code, so everyone dresses very casual. Today, I was wearing a top with thin straps and with long pants and my shoulders were showing. One of my coworkers, Brian, was giving me angry looks all day. When I finally asked him what's wrong, he told me that he thought better of me than to dress in barely any clothes to work. Barely in clothes. That's, a mis that's what a misogynist would do. That's what a misogynist would do. At the moment, Brian was wearing pretty short shorts and was barefoot. Oh, worse. Worse, he dressed like this whole summer. The office is carpeted. He only puts on his slippers if he's it's going to the bathroom or the kitchen. Oh, disgusting. I told Brian that I would start covering my shoulders when he starts wearing shoes to the office. If I had to wash his hairy toes at work, he can deal with the sight on my shoulders. That, of course, didn't help. He put on his headphones and didn't even look in my direction the rest of the work day. Now I'm wondering if I was trying to say that. He's a co-worker, and I should thrive for good work relations, but I felt insulted, so kicked back to him. Am I the ace in the hole? I mean, that's what a misogynist would do, okay? I mean, this is literally what a misogynist would do, because he's wearing short shorts and wearing barefoot. Where You wear barefoot to work? And the office is carpeted? Oh, my God, you have a, you probably have a, na you probably have a nasty feet. If you ask me, he'll probably have like the nastiest feet. Like ever gonna see this. Like, come on. What's what's wrong with what's wrong with this person? No, you're not the ace in the hole. Let me see what everybody else is. I hate people and say, I thought better of you than innocuous thing. It's like they think their opinion is primary motive is your primary motive. You should grovel your way back to their good graces. Shut up, Ryan. No shoes at work when other people are walking around in their outside shoes and then he gets mad about seeing some shoulders? What is wrong with Brian? Okay, Brian obviously sucks for the gentleman on the short thing. But why so much hate in the comments for him going barefoot? As long as his feet are smelling and keeps it on the floor. Not the ace in the hole, okay. Weird or been able to compare showing showing bare any clothes. Well, the shoes is the problem for me. Red flag, red flag. He told her he used to think 
better of her because before she wore clothes and didn't prove them. I watch up her. Not only does he think these misogynistic thoughts exactly what's going to say, he feels entitled to tell her about no office romance with this man. Also, he's violating OSHA. Yeah, he's violating. If you don't know what OSHA is, it's the Occupational Safety Health Administration. You're going to risk the health with barefoot? Yeah. Okay, yeah, the majority says, oh, finally, we have one post that title labeled not the Asian Home. Okay, good, good, good. Not the Asian Home. His short, short slash barefoot look was way more revealing than your tank top and long pants situation. It's super hypocritical for him to be upset about your, about your attire while dressed the way he was. I would absolutely have been sassy if Barefoot Brian can find his can't mind his own business. Maybe it's time for a play of Floor Legos. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> That's a really good one. Okay, let's see with the majority. Okay, let's look. Let's go back and check the majority. Let's see with let's see with the majority of the Reddit here. Man, I have a lot of fun doing this. This is great. So what the majority has to say. Yep. Finally, we have one. Post that label not the ace in the hole. Fantastic. All right. Not the ace in the hole. That was funny response to Sam at shaming you for <gasps> having shoulders. Also, who goes barefoot at the office? Nobody does. Nobody is wearing a barefoot in the office. I have never ever someone walking barefoot in the office or weren't going to work barefoot. Also consider this: Have you ever gone on a bus barefoot? Because that's that's really embarrassing for that. Come on, come the frick on! Literally, I was a little angry at this. So. Oh dear God! <laughs> Not the ace in the hole, but how could you, OP? Now he knows that you have shoulders. His world turned upside down. Yeah, this will definitely turn on to that for that. Oof, let's see. Not the ace in the hole. Going barefoot is way weirder and more unprofessional than bare shoulders. You think bare shoulders is more weird and unprofessional than these foot right here? I cannot reach it. Than the foot that I have right here? I can't reach it. I is this foot. Yeah. Can't see can't see my foot because not the flexible, but hey. Oh man. Your <gasps> shoulders were visible? I'm clutching my pearls over here. Not the ace in the hole. <laughs> do you have ex do you have extra pearls? I can't find mine to clutch. Also, not the ace in the hole. Yeah, I would if I would have a pearls to grab on and clutch on it. Mm. <laughs> That would be a nice thing to do. That's good. Whew. Okay. No, no, it no 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 it did help. Of course it helped. He put his headphones in the brush this way. No 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 no, it did help. He's doing so and sounds simply stare states Brian needs to have a fresh cup of shut the F up before he turn on the proverbial neon hypocrite sign, point out his double standard views. Hopefully he thinks twice the next time. Not the ace in the hole. Well, I think Rose finally has a way to get out of it. Not the ace in the hole. Bare feet all summer in the office and he acts like a child about a tank top? Grow up, Brian. Yeah. Not the ace in the Your nasty co-worker was bare for every day at work and he had the gall to complain about your shoulders. Unreal. Okay, all right. I think I've seen enough now. So, yep, they dub this person not the ace in the hole. And I have one, one not the ace in the hole. That's good. Good enough. Okay, looks like I am done for this another episode of Am I the Ace in the Hole? Hopefully, we get down to some of the other stuff right now. Some of the posts I can read and hopefully. So I could spot on some of the A's in the hole there. I might be practicing more than that. So who knows? All right, guys.
对吧？